Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 photos to test your intelligence. So this is a mix of all kinds of different photos to test how smart you really are. Some of these you might get, but a lot of these are really hard and sometimes almost impossible. So leave a comment saying which ones of these you got. And definitely drop a like if you enjoy, let's aim for 4,000 likes on this video because it really does help me out. So coming in at number 10, we have how many planks? So this one is a really old photo to test how smart you are. And it's been around for a while, but even so it totally bent my mind. So if you look at the wooden planks in the photo from the right, you'll probably count four planks. But then if you look at the same planks from the left side, you'll probably count three. And this image has gone viral a few different times, and because this is the internet, you can imagine the comments were a mix of, there's obviously four, it's right there, shit! And I have a degree in mathematics, and I can clearly see there's three planks, you idiotic fuck! But yeah, if you guys are smart, you'll see there's actually an extra line that's been drawn in between all of the planks. And because of that, there's not four or three planks. In fact, the answer is there's none at all because the image has been messed with. But don't feel bad if you didn't get it at first. I mean, I had to literally recreate the image on Photoshop to get it. But if you guys are smart and got it in just like one second, don't make fun of me. Now, but seriously, coming up next is elephant legs. So this one is an adaptation of a psychological image in a book called Mind Sights by Roger Shepard in 1990, which was a book about how at a first glance something could appear as real when it actually isn't. And basically the photo is of an elephant, but if you look at the bottom of the image and I asked you how many legs the elephant has, then you might be stumped. Most people say something like five or four, but the actual answer is really weird. And I had to look to psychologist Erin Matlock for the answer. And she says that it can only have one leg and that's the back one because all of the other legs have had their feet move, which makes it look like the elephant has way too many legs. And the image is to do with how we see depth and figure out perception. But yeah, this is a real example of how your brain can trick you. But if any of you guys got this before I told you the answer, well, then you're pretty damn smart. So next up is woman at the window. This is a really famous image and it tests how quickly your brain can spot differences in photos. And people who are really good at doing these tests on photos like this usually have to do it if they're training to be one of those people who check if old paintings and other antiques are real or if they're fake. So yeah, if you guys didn't get this, then look at the bottom right of the right photo and you'll see a mouse hole right by the woman's feet. <laughs> And if you got this right, then well done, but don't get too ahead of yourself, because the people who do tests to be the people who check if old paintings are real or not have to do way harder ones than this. And some of those will be coming up later in this video. So next up is how many animals. So this one will really shock you. And this is one of those really impossible ones I was talking about before. So if you were to look at this image and I said to you, how many animals can you see? Most people would probably say three, an elephant, a cat, and a donkey. And if you guys are really observant, maybe you would have noticed the dog too, but there's actually 16 animals in this one image. There's a tortoise, a fish, a dolphin, a mosquito, and a ton more. And I know this seems stupid and there's no way this is possible, but just look. I mean, this really does blow my mind and only really smart people would have seen all of these. And that's because it requires you to look in areas that you normally wouldn't check. And it makes you use your brain in a way you normally wouldn't. So yeah, I'd say if you got over six, then well done, because I only got four. So next up is factory. So this is another one of those spot the difference photos. But this one is way harder than the woman at the window from before. And this one is actually really obvious, but about 90% of people don't get it. All you have to do to see the difference is look at the bottom right of the photos and you can clearly see that the green photo on the left has part of the green machine taken out. The reason most people don't see this at first is because the top of the photo is so detailed and crowded so you don't even notice the difference at the bottom. And because of our human nature the eye automatically looks at things from the top and pays less attention to the bottom. So don't worry if you guys didn't get this just blame your stupid eyes. But seriously this photo went viral around one year ago on Twitter and people are probably still arguing about it to this day. Personally I actually did get this one which I I'm pretty happy about because I pretty much haven't gotten any other ones before this. So coming up next is Mona Lisa. So we all know that Mona Lisa is the most expensive and famous painting of all time and we all know it when we see it but this photo tests how well you know the world's most famous painting and if you guys can get this one then you should really apply for a job as one of those people who check the authenticity of paintings because what's wrong with the Mona Lisa on the right is so insanely small. I mean shit maybe even Leonardo da Vinci himself wouldn't be able to see it. So basically the thing that's wrong about the photo on the right is that there's a shadow where in the original image there's a light patch. So yeah, this is such a minor thing and most people probably wouldn't even get it because it's so small. And also it's been proven that the human eye is drawn to faces so you probably looked at the Mona Lisa's face or around her face but really it was hidden in the background. Personally, I kind of think the one on the right looks better. Sorry Leonardo. Oh fuck off. So next up is which is top? So this is a classic puzzle which is really hard to get and this is one of those puzzles which drives you literally insane if you think about it for too long. <laughs> which is why I don't do this shit. But as I'm making 
making a video, I should probably explain it. Basically, the way you work this out is that the colors that make up the pyramid have to match the top view. And people who are architects and stuff have to know this. But yeah, I assume most of you haven't got it yet, so I'm gonna tell you the answer is C. And all you have to do is visualize the shape from the top from this side. And you can clearly see that all of the colored lines match up. So yeah, that's it. It's simple, but I can understand if it hurt your guys' brain because it really did for me. I mean, seriously, I spent ages trying to work this out, but I ended up googling the answer. I mean, come on, do we even need to have a brain now that Google exists? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So next up is Abbey Road. So I'm sure you guys all know the band The Beatles, and who knows, maybe you guys have even seen this really famous album cover of The Beatles' best-selling album called Abbey Road. But can you guys spot what's wrong with these two album covers? Okay, maybe you did find something, but I can assure you there's a lot more differences than what you found. If you found any at all, that is. There's actually five differences to the two photos, and the one on the left is real. So the right one is missing the lamppost and a bit of a building on the left, and also has different road markings, and Paul McCartney's shoes are a different colour, and in one of them, Paul McCartney isn't holding a cigarette. So yeah, I'm sure if any of you guys are big Beatles fans, then you got them all. But if you're not, then I don't blame you. I mean, I only got the shoe thing. But I would have never noticed the other stuff, and a lot of people haven't either, because this went viral on a Beatles Facebook fan page a few weeks ago. And by the looks of the comments, nobody could work it out. Now this one is designed for kids, but don't be all like, oh, well, if it's for kids, then this should be easy, because this is actually something that child psychologists use to work out how perceptive and intelligent kids are. So it may look like the same weird kids cartoon of some guy in space or something. Come to think of it, what even is that? But anyway, it may look like the same image, but what you may not have noticed is the light on the spaceship on the right is actually smaller. I mean, shit, this is hard enough for a fully grown guy to see, let alone a little kid. But yeah, if any of you guys are really young and you got this, then drop what you're doing right now and go to Harvard right now. Go, go! Nah, seriously, but if you did get this, you're a pretty smart kid. And if you got this as an adult, congrats, you're a genius. Well, for a kid. And coming up last on this list is Disney World. So you guys might have seen this photo of Disney World before because they used to use it on their adverts. But anyway, this is another image which means if you get it, you're highly observant and intelligent. If you can spot the one tiny difference between these two photos. And this one isn't just about being observant, it's also a mind trick. Basically, the thing that's different about the two photos is that the one on the left has been photoshopped and Mickey Mouse's right ear has a grey shadow on it. And I know it's hard to see anyway because it's such a small detail, but Minnie Mouse also has this on both photos so your eyes get confused between the ears of the two similar characters. So yeah, this is a pretty hard one, but quite a few people might get this one because it's the last one on this whole list and hopefully your guys' brains are awake now. But yeah, now you can all relax because that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for how many of these you got. For me, I think I got around four, which to be honest isn't too great. But as always, 